Hey agents, it's Brent Wells. I'm a broker in Prosper, Texas, and today I want to talk to you about improving your career as a real estate agent. There's three ways to do that when you're getting the assistance of someone else to guide you. Technique number one, that is training. Training can take the shape of having a coffee break where you have a senior agent who's sharing information with maybe a group of junior agents or newer agents. It can scale all the way up to having a massive weekend seminar where you go and attend and you're trained by the top people in the nation in real estate. And that both those scenarios is training, right? And it can scale anywhere in between there. Most of us know training as that office meeting or that training class in the office where you might get 15 or 20 minutes of actual training, but it kind of leads in with the guy who paid for the food for the training session talking to you. And then the broker talks to you. And then at the end, somebody else talks to you and gives awards. And sandwiched in there is a guy who's a SME, a subject matter expert or an SME. And he's coming in to talk to you about Facebook marketing, let's say. And that's why you really showed up, right? You want to learn how to do Facebook marketing. But he only gives you 15 minutes. And it's kind of a teaser to say, sign up for my $900 class on Facebook marketing. That's not really training. Training is, it needs to be more. You need to be able to get something out of it where you can immediately hit the ground running and go improve your business, get another listing or get another buyer. That's what training's meant to be. I just think personally, most of the time, training is not really resulting in a value add for an agent's career, which moves me into the second technique. That's coaching. Full disclosure, Deb and I are coached by Jeffrey Chubb. He is with Club Wealth. Shout out, Jeff. I uh, love Jeff to death. He analyzed our business, looked for weaknesses, looked at what we were doing good, what we were doing bad, and what we flat out weren't doing or refused to do. Gave us some tough love. It's got us mostly on the right track to where we're doing some great business. And I can definitely vouch for the fact that Jeff's worth every penny we spend. Now, I recommend that you go out and find a coach and make sure you connect with them. Make sure they're kind of where you want to be or they've gone where you're at now and made it through it and they're doing it very well. That coaching is that one-on-one -on -one phone call that occurs weekly or bi-monthly. It can motivate you. It can help eliminate bottlenecks. It can give you different techniques that you maybe never were aware of or hadn't thought to try. And more importantly, your coach will tell you what to avoid, what to quit spending money on, things that just don't work. Now, lastly is quite frankly, I think the most powerful technique for a real estate agent to learn via, but they're rare. They don't happen very often anymore. My godmother, when I was a little boy, owned a real estate brokerage and she used to mentor new agents. She would kind of pull them next to her and they followed around for six months like a duckling to the mama duck. Everywhere Joy went, they went. When Joy was interacting with clients, they heard it. They, they learned at her, at her elbow, so to speak, on how she overcame uh, objections, on how she presented things, how she minimized negatives and maximized positives. And you're learning in that one-on-one -on -one, and she could immediately turn and ask Joy a question and get an immediate response. That kind of learning technique is incredibly powerful, but we don't see it today because primarily the most valuable commodity a human has is their time. And for a broker to spend that kind of one-on-one -on -one time with an agent, it doesn't scale. So in today's day and age of these mega brokerages that have 200, 300, 500 agents, there's no way a broker can do that, can spend that kind of time. And quite frankly, they don't need to. So many, so many agents come into the business and they're out of the business in a year. It's just frustrating for a broker to say, well, why should I spend that kind of time with someone who's probably going to be bankrupt and out of the business like that? So you don't see mentoring. Where you do see it is in small brokerages like mine and um, at Living Well Properties, we do mentor. We, we are right there. And that's one of the value adds that you get from being on a team ridge that's that intimate. You can also get it on the team model. And I think that's one of the reasons the team model is exploding all over the nation is you get that, that mentorship, that one-on-one -on -one FaceTime with the more seasoned agent and you learn faster. So I think that's very valuable. So agents, I hope that helps. That's just meant to be a high level summary. I'm letting you know what, what Deb and I do, honestly, is we use the coach. It works great. I would really recommend that mentoring. If you're a brand new agent or if you're an agent who's struggling and you can't afford coaching, I would seriously look at getting into a teamerage like ours or a team model in one of the bigger franchise brokerages. Find someone who needs some agents to help out. 
be willing to take a little less take home pay for that FaceTime, learn as much as you can. As always, if I can help in any way, leave me a comment, put a question in your comment, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Until we meet again, I hope God blesses you and keeps you, and I hope you have a great day in the real estate world.